Well, looky here, we have another $1 LED bulb, and it's a BR30 reflector type. Before I get into this, just want to say thanks to my viewers who reported the guy who was stealing my videos. If you watched the other video I made, that Stephen Chance guy was stealing eight or nine of my videos, and I reported them. And YouTube has taken those videos down, probably with the help of you guys reporting them as well. So that's good. So just make sure you're watching John Audio Tech videos on the John Audio Tech channel. But uh, we're not doing audio today. We're taking a look at this LED bulb. This is a Dollar Tree bulb. Dollar Tree has been putting out some interesting low-cost LEDs. You know, the other video I did, they had the two-pack 60-watt equivalent A19 style bulbs. One dollar for a two-pack. Now they have this reflector type bulb for one dollar BR30. says that it's dimmable as well. Usually pay a premium for dimmable bulbs. And Instant on, 25,000 hours. Silent, doesn't include a subwoofer. I know, it's just, it doesn't, it's not supposed to buzz. Globe Electronics. Here's the lighting facts. 9 watts, 2700 Kelvin. I prefer 3000 or 3500, but you know, Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, typical reflector type uh, lumens, 650, 60 watt equivalent, or I'm sorry, 65 watt equivalent. And does this say imported by Greenbrier or something? I guess not. A lot of this stuff in the Dollar Tree store is, comes from Greenbrier International. Now let's pop this thing open. Take a look at the bulb itself. And here it is. See if you can get a focus on the lettering here. One neat thing with these reflector type bulbs is that they can put the heat sinking up here because there has to be a reflector there anyway. And they keep the heat away from the electronics. So that's a nice design feature of these reflector type bulbs. And it's plastic. Okay, let's put it in fixture here. And it, uh, it works a treat. Let me dim it here, see if you can see any. Yeah, you can see it dim. There is a little bit of flicker. Very little. This camera is highly sensitive to flicker but I can tell that, well, let me turn it all the way up and see what it does here. Yeah, there's slight flicker, but like I say, this camera is sensitive, and it's actually a lot less than normal, which I see with dimmable type bulbs. So it does dim quite well. Let me put my ear up to it. Partially dimmed, I can hear a little bit, but it's very quiet. You're probably not going to notice that in normal use. Yeah, I'd say it is 2700 Kelvin. After letting the bulb run for a while, the heat does build up around the top. I mean, it's still pretty cold. It doesn't warm up that much. 
and it hasn't even gotten warm at all down here so they are using a smart design by putting the heat sink up here away from the electronics okay I have the kilowatt set to around 120 volts and we will check the watt draw it's actually 7.9 and the power factor is 0.95 so that's very good I noticed that with some LED bulbs they are using less than their rated power it might be because of the newer LEDs are more efficient and you know that allows them to use less power than they printed on the package it's almost a shame that I'm going to tear this down because it works so nicely but hey, we got to see what's inside this thing, right? Stand by. And we're in. So we have the plastic casing. Driver board fits down in there. And the heat sink just sits right in there. So they are keeping the heat away from the driver board. So you get a generous amount of aluminum heat sinking. The LED board just sits in like this. See if I can get a close up of that. Those are 9 volt LEDs, so there's three LEDs in each package and a total of eight. So, what is that? 72 volts. And very modular. This driver board just sticks right up through there, and the LED board just plugs right into this removable socket and here is the driver board typical high power factor type there's no electrolytic capacitors on the input side just the output side will have the electrolytic smoothing capacitor we have the driver chip and associated components that's the rectifier bridge and some noise filtering Eliminate the switching noise and uh, the little coil, transformer or coil, looks like there's three connections to it, auto transformer type, pretty much standard. Very nice design. So there you have it, the $1 Globe brand Dollar Tree BR30 reflector light. Amazing what you can get for $1 these days. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.